In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a short side passing concept that I really like out of trip side end. This is actually gonna put some stress on the opponent because the way that this concept is designed, it's designed to really get them in a position where they can't defend it with base coverage. But they actually are gonna to struggle to defend this honestly with anything that they're gonna do. It's a great little passing concept out of the trips tight end formation. Now, if you're new to the channel and you have not subscribed yet, I would ask that you do that. My channel focuses on helping people get better at Madden. So if you're looking to get better at the, at the game, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We upload free tips every single day. They can help you become a better Madden player. Also, if you're really looking to take your game to the next level, I've got my trips tight end ebook in my Patreon membership. By joining the Patreon membership, what's really cool about it is you don't only get access to just the trips tight end ebook, you actually are going to get access to 18 offensive and defensive ebooks, um, and as well as any new ebooks that we release or any new updates that we release while your membership is active. So it's a great way to get better at the game because it's always updating. We update it every week with something new that really keeps the game, um, keeps you learning, keeps you growing, keeps you getting better at the game, which is our ultimate goal to help people become better Madden players. So if you wanna sign up for that, there's a link down in the description. Now the concept we're gonna talk about today comes to us out of the PA slot corner. You don't have to do it out of that play, but it does work best out of that play because you do get really good blocking from your running back, play action plays are very good um, in terms of pass protection. It's also really good if you have an outside apprentice or even a hot route master will make this play like really, really, really good. Okay, so the setup is actually relatively simple. We're gonna show it against a couple different coverages here, uh, but what we're gonna do with this is we are going to uh, just simply skinny post the outside receiver and smart route him. We're gonna then hitch our slot receiver, uh, Scotty Miller, and that's pretty much it. And what you're gonna see here is against cover four, the zones are gonna get sucked in. It's one of those things, and this is important to know when you think about your offense. Most people, whenever, you have to remember, what do most people think you're gonna run? They think you're gonna run something like this. More than likely, this is what they think. So the point is, um, they're gonna be kind of over committing and trying to run some coverages that are designed to take something like this away. What they don't expect whenever you're in short side trips, they typically will not expect you to run a corner route from your number three receiver, which is why this play, I think, actually has some value. So what we're gonna do is actually do just that. So it's a nice little checkmate type play. And what you'll see here is if you pass lead it right when he cuts to the outside, it's actually really hard for the cover, th uh, cover four drop to be able to cover that. Now the cool part is this also works um, this also works, for example, against cover three. So you see here, this is cover three with the purple. You're just going to pass lead that up. And as you can see, you get it away from the zone. Now, it actually is one of the better uh, cover three beaters in the game. And you have to understand, when people defend trips tight in, a lot of times you're going to get a look like this. You're going to get a Mabel to the back side of this on the right. And then on the left side, typically you're going to get a yellow zone. And you're going to get a hard flat. That's typically how most people defend it, especially short side like this. So... Whenever we come back and hit them with a concept that looks like this, now all of a sudden that cover three can't get out there. The inside third will almost always get sucked in really bad by the by the deep third. And as you can see, it, it gives us a nice little window where we can hit this route against the cover three. Um, it also doesn't really matter if they have clouds, quarters, curl flats. It, it, it really doesn't. Um, let me show you that real quick here. So what you're gonna see, this is a cloud flat coverage. I'm just gonna pass that up. See how it sucks down to the hitch? And we're still getting this to go about 20 yards down the, or um, I'm sorry, about 30 yards down the field. So they have to have a 30 yard cloud on the left, and they also have to have a 30 yard cloud on the right to defend what we're trying to do within this trips tight end formation. This is also one of my favorite ways to beat match coverage because what you're going to notice is when we're in the short side like this, we're going to get this nice little route right there that can really snap off against that against that zone. Now, another thing that I want to just quickly point out about this is let's say, for example, you're getting a baseline and press cover four drop. This is a defense that Skimbo likes to use uh, to try to defend this. Some type of cover four drop basically is what he likes to run. What you're going to be able to do with this is if you pass lead this down and away, you're going to notice it's going to go about 20 yards. So we can actually throw this corner route in two key windows. The first one is that it's a 20 yard window that you can hit um, where you can hit that in front of a 30 yard cloud flat, for example, or a cover four drop. But then the other one is a pass lead up, and this is a 30 yard window that we can hit in anything that is zone dropped underneath it. So this little concept right here 
is really hard to guard. It really is hard to guard uh, from this in particular receiver, and all we're doing is just a simple skinny post. Now, the defense that is best equipped to handle this is actually going to be a cover two, uh, because. but you'll see right here he gets sucked inside. It's a tight window, but I'm telling you, if you can lab this up a little bit, get some, get some reps with this, this is a very, very good cover two beater um, for a couple different reasons. First one is, of course, the corner. We're going to talk about the post in just a second, but watch this corner route. Um, you see how he gets sucked to the middle, and that leaves this void over here where we can get this over the top of a cloud. To me, that's a huge, huge deal. So we've been able to be cover four drop, cover three, cover four, and cover two. So every major coverage in the game. Let me show you real quick. This is a Mike, um, This is a cover one style coverage. Um, something that a lot of people have been running against me personally. If you have a route running ability on this player, when he cuts hard outside pass lead, he will get open pretty much every single time. Now, the coverage that you need to watch out a little bit for within this, um, the coverage that you need to watch out a little bit for with this concept is actually a press man-to-man -man style of defense, something that looks kind of like this. And the primary reason why is because there's not really a rub route to get open on this play. What you'll see is if he gets jammed, you can kind of throw this, but you really got to be careful. You don't want to be throwing picks on this route. You do get a little bit of a rub, but it's not enough to be like, this is a definitely good man beater. So what do you do if you get a man aligned defense? What I like to do against a man aligned, this is also still going to help us against all the other coverages. Um, but the very simple little thing that I will do uh, if I'm getting a, if I'm getting a press type of uh, situation on that play is I'll actually go ahead and motion Mike Evans over on a drag and then I'll actually just use a streak or if I have hot rod master I'll put Scotty Miller on the skinny post and what this does is it just gives me a little bit more room to be able to get open and also it allows that right there to be a potential bomb over the top of a cover two style where there's nobody in the middle of the field okay so that's something that you can do I think press man would give you the hardest time with this in particular play just because the routes are going to get rerouted at the snap um, one other thing that you can do is if you're getting a lot of press man what you can easily do with this one is you can go ahead and actually re-corner the tight end that's going to give him a little sharper cut and then you can drag scotty miller bring him across the formation so that you get a, a free release there and then your tight end is actually going to get open for you on this other side so that's a way that you can kind of combat some of the man-to-man -man stuff that you might see if you run this concept a lot. Now, I said we were going to come back to the skinny post against cover two. This is another really cool piece. A lot of people, whenever they're defending trips tight end, the primary two things they're looking to try to defend is they're trying to defend the crosser to the number three receiver, and they're trying to defend the post to the tight end. In this play, this is going to give the illusion that they really have done that well. And what you're going to notice is we're going to be able to step up in the pocket, pass lead this post up, and what you're going to see is that's going to get wide open against a cover two coverage. The user is the only player that can make that play in this game um, if they are in a true traditional cover two. Now, the other thing that's really interesting about this concept is because of the deep post, it actually will pull the zones. And so you can actually throw this corner route to the tight end right on the sideline just like that. So again, they have to have those 30-yard clouds. Let me come back real quickly here um, and just show some things about this corner route to the tight end. What you're going to notice with this corner route to the tight end is, again, real simple adjustments. But what you'll see is this corner route, as long as they don't have 30-yard clouds, if they're in cover three, you can kind of cut that off and make an aggressive catch on the sideline. If you have deep out of lead on that player, a lot of times that will be successful. Cover four, um, as long as they don't baseline and press their cover four, you'll see right here that I can again pass that to the outside, click on, make a little comeback ag catch. It's very consistent. So they're gonna have to make some significant adjustments on both sides of the formation to have any chance of stopping this play. And what I absolutely love about this is that route right there can be thrown at a 20 yard window like that. And it can also be thrown at a um, 30 yard window, which I think is very valuable in the big picture of how we wanna attack offensively. See how right here I can pass lead it up, get it to 30, or I can pass lead it down and away and keep it at 20 yards. Very, very important for the meta defenses because they're gonna be trying to use 30 yard cloud flats to, to stop you, then you can throw underneath for a nice little 20 yard dot. So this, this play to me 
is really, really important because it keeps the defense honest and it really puts the defense, I think, in a pretty tough spot um, just in terms of how they're going to be able to defend this concept. One of my favorite plays in the game. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn the rest of the Trips Tied In uh, ebook, or if you want to get all of my ebooks for that matter, join the Patreon. It's no better place to get better at Madden than our Patreon membership. For just $10 a month, you're not only going to get access to the Trips Tied In ebook, but you're going to get access to all of my Madden 22 ebooks, uh, as well as all of the updates to those guides and any new ebooks that we release while your membership is active. So really, really worth it in my opinion. $10. You get updates every single week, and you could cancel it whenever you'd like to. You don't have to stay signed up or whatever. Uh, but again, you get a lot of benefits from it. So if you want to sign up and get better at the game, join the Patreon. There's a link in the description below.